Uh, I'm Ari Bernstein. I direct the Center for Climate, Health, and the Global Environment at the Harvard Chan School of Public Health, and I'm a pediatrician at Boston Children's Hospital. There have been many studies now looking at gas stoves and their potential to contribute to breathing problems in, in children and adults. And most of those studies have, have found that there is a problem, that, that exposures to air pollutants that are coming out of stoves are, are contributing to children who have asthma and adults having trouble breathing. It's not entirely surprising because we, we know that burning natural gas creates air pollutants that have been well understood for a long time to be hard on lungs. I don't think this is a call for everyone to run out and buy an induction cooktop or an electric cooktop. Um, but I, I think the big picture is take the reasonable steps you can to limit exposure. But the first thing is that it's very clear that gas stoves emit this substance called NOx or oxides of nitrogen. And NOx are very clearly causative of asthma. So we know that. So the real question is how much people are being exposed to in their homes from their stoves. And that really depends on how big your kitchen is and how well ventilated it is. It's certainly clear that if you have a relatively small kitchen and it's not ventilated, so you've got no air coming in or out, and you turn on a gas stove, you can increase the level of NOx to levels that are above the EPA standards for outdoor air quality pretty quickly within an hour or so. I think there are a couple of quick and easy steps. One is to make sure that if you're using one of those stoves, that you use it only for the time you need it, not to leave it on for longer periods. The second is if you have a vent, uh, a hood over the stove, or sometimes the vents are built into countertops, uh, use it <laughs> because that can also make a dramatic difference in the amount of pollution that accumulates in a room. And if the weather's decent and you're able to, open some doors and windows and use a fan to help air circulate through your kitchen. Short of all those things, if there is someone in the home who has sensitive lungs, whether that's a younger person, older person, a person who's pregnant, keep them out of the kitchen if cooking's going on, um, because it turns out that in most homes, at least, the greatest concentrations are going to be near the source. My general advice to parents is if you can smell it, don't buy it. Soaps, cleaning products, um, those actually all can create substances in homes that are harmful to our lungs. And so a big source of pollution in homes is, is things we buy and, and, and bring into them. The last thing is, you know, we burn other stuff in houses. We burn incense, we burn cigarettes and other things people smoke, and wood burning stoves. It's really important to really focus on these common indoor sources of exposure and, and reduce them uh, as well. <laughs>